Hello everyone, I am Ali from Turkey, Chief Officer of this vessel. Today I am going to show you the navigational bridge, including its navigational aids, communication equipment, also called GMDSS equipment, and some of the safety equipment what we have on the bridge. Let's start with Ectis electronic chart display. It is not much different than Google Maps for instance but much more advanced with lots of features to aid for a safe navigation. This is an equipment that we can plot our position on the map, sea ways and obstructions and also monitor other vessels movements in vicinity. It has weekly updates, it's being done by second officer, also we have two actresses on board required by the international regulations. Another important equipment for us are the radars that we are using them for collision avoidance, keeping the vessel in safe waters, by using bearing distance and index functions. Next is compass. We have two different types of compasses which are gyro and magnetic and also gyro compass is duplicated with another gyro to be prepared against the failure of the equipment. There are also a number of repeaters on the wings and at the center of the bridge. Here is a steering unit that we can use it in autopilot or in hand steering mode working in integration with the compasses. The automated system or the helmsman follow the orders given by the master and duty officer. Next to the autopilot system, steering system, we have main engine operating panel here. This is control unit and this is main engine telegraph. Vessel has two whistles on forward and aft that we can give the signals as per collision regulations. This is AIS, automatic identification system which contains basic information and identification of the vessel and it shares the information with the other users around. VDR, Voyage Data Recorder, is very much similar to flight recorders and it keeps recording all necessary data from navigational equipment and also makes audio recording on the bridge to be used as an evidence when needed. Here is the light panel of the vessel. What we have here is navigational lights, signal light panel, and illumination control for the deck. Here is the chart desk. On chart desks, we have GPSs, Nautex. We receive navigational warnings through Nautex. Speed recorder, it's called also speed lock. It measures the speed. Here is the echo sounder that we can see the depth below the keel. There are different means of receiving weather reports. One of them is weather facts, which gives us pictographic map for the forecasts sent by meteorological stations. But these days, vessels are using computer-based systems to follow immediate data and vessel can stay updated for the weather forecasts. Course recorder is another tool for recording the vessel's course continuously while the vessel is at sea or anchorage. GMDSS station is the communication base of the vessel. Vessel has different satellite systems that we use for routine, urgency and distress communications. Moreover, vessel receives all navigational warnings and weather reports through GMDSS system. We have sort of indicators and re repeaters on the front console of this bridge. Anemometer, it is wind indicator. RPM indicator of the main engine, rudder angle indicator of the steering unit, clinometer, repeater of the compass, which receives from the gyro, speed lock, remote display. The bridge of a ship is the commanding position of the vessel, usually attended by an officer and by an AB while we are at sea, and during critical maneuverings, port maneuverings, and inland waters, usually captain will be in charge on the bridge assisted by an officer and by an AB. As I mentioned before, we have sort of life-saving appliances and firefighting equipment on the bridge to be used in case of emergencies. On the starboard wing, we have one EPARP, which is Emergency Position Indicator Radar Beacon. Here we have SART, search and rescue radar transponder. In this drawer, we have two pieces of inflatable life jackets, two pieces of normal life jackets and two pieces of immersion suites. In addition, we have two pieces of emergency escape breathing device. On the other side of the bridge, we have 12 pieces of rocket flares and four pieces of 
line throwing apparatus. In addition to this safety equipment, we have two fire extinguisher on the bridge. One is dry powder and on the other side we have one CO2 extinguisher. And finally, three pieces of emergency radios, handheld radios, to be used in case of abandoning the ship. This was a very brief introduction of a navigational bridge on board the vessel. I hope you will enjoy it. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.